or a different subject to share, but oftentimes I want I want to encourage you, church, today, do not wait for a no, or don't wait for a yes, but wait for a no. So when Nick is sensing that God is saying something, I think it's so funny that oftentimes we'll hear God say something just to do something, and we'll go, okay, I need to go pray and make sure they actually said it. My kids, if they do that, they get disciplined. Because it's like, I just asked you to do something. Okay, Dad, give me a moment. I'm going to go over here, and then I'll go back to five and ask you again to make sure you really meant that it's time for bed. Seriously? Like, I will drop the hammer, you know? <laughs> but that's how we treat God. Wow. I seriously do that all the time. I think God's telling me this. Could it be? Yeah. Let's go ask again and again and again. And if he doesn't answer just the right way, <laughs> then it probably wasn't God. Mm. What's well, just silly? You know, kids all the time come to me with EMT and, and with going on outreach. You know, I think God's telling me to go here, but I'm going to really just pray about it. Well, that's just silly. Stop it. Go. Like, but how do you know? Yeah, what happens if you go on a mission trip and have a great time? You know, what is the worst that could happen? You could lead somebody to a war. Boo hoo. You know, you're like, what's going to happen? You know, can, you, can we trust God enough? Do we believe that God loves us enough that if we're going to walk into a trap, if we're going to fall into a hole, that He might just say, stop? That's right. That He might just say, don't go that way. You know, I do that. I mean, I'm a dreamer, folks, and and my wife is a good stop for me too. But and that's the way we function as a couple. I mean, almost weekly, Chris. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm praying. This is what I feel like God's saying. And she she's just a straight out piece of God or no piece. There's sometimes she she actually feels like it's a boring thing. I think it's amazing because it's the greatest buffer in the world. I mean, I probably be dead for it already. For her. <laughs> it is though. And I'll come to her and say, "Here, Chris," and I will say crazy things, and she'll be like, "Yeah, I peace about that." And then, and then the next thing I think is very small. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't have peace about that. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll walk away from it. But again, and, 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 and even for God, like so many times I'll step into something. like, I know God's called me to do this. Sometimes I'm like, how am I going to possibly do anything? I don't have the time. I don't have the finances. I don't have the capability. But so, so how many of you have been approached from a leader and said, hey, we see something in you. And we would like to see you walk out in this thing. So lead a small group. Be on the worship team. Help moderate here. Um, be part of a prayer thing. Whatever. Whatever it might be. An outreach. And they say, I recognize this in you, and we'd love to see you be a part of it. And how many times do we just go, well, I'm going to really have to pray about it. And then you pray about it, you might even sense that God's leading away, but no, I need to hear a yes, God. <laughs> I, need, I need handwriting on the wall, God. <laughs> Could we trust God enough? You know, you have something in you. You have potential in you. To change the, your whole environment around you and everything around you. If you just simply walk into what God's called you to do. Church, wait for a no. 